We're gonna grab some water for our panning tub. Tell the moose have been coming down here for food for water. I need a full bucket. <laughs> kind of sketchy. There we go. It'll take a few trips to fill this up. Here we go. There's the last bucket of water. Let's go get some dirt and start test panning. Okay, we're gonna start right close to home. We're gonna test out some of our tailings from our run. Make sure our sluice is actually catching all the material. Because if we're not catching material, that means we're losing money. So we're gonna start right at the head end of the sluice. There's some material from it. We're just gonna Scrape it all. Oh, those are leaves. Scrape it all down. All this material should tell us something. all the heavy material so should should tell us something hopefully okay let's go pan it out The material is going to be heavy in black sand. I get the sneaky suspicion.
Cleans off easy. This is material I do not want to see golden. Lots of fine. Lots and lots and lots of fine material. Now, that's very small. I'm not even sure if my sluice will catch that. But there's lots of it. It's not a good sign. Now maybe it's because I last used this pan to clean out concentrates. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say it wasn't cleaned out right. Because there does seem to be gold sticking in the pan still. That's a good sign. Very little material this time. It's so fine, I don't think my sluice can trap it. So stuff I'm not really too worried about. I'm after the big stuff, like your, your pickers and stuff. 
stuff that's worth money. There's a million of those in one small chunk of gold, so. 10, I'm not worried about. There's probably a million of those in a dollar, so. We'll get this one panned out, and we'll do some real test panning. Okay, let's find some more material, shall we? Now I can pan this every day, and I will. But I wanna go somewhere else. I wanna find some new spots. Diversify my operation. That's the plan. That's gonna start. Hey, right about here? I'm not really sure why I didn't continue on here, but right here we're gonna dig. This is all clay. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Okay, that was a mistake. It's all clay. Try a different spot. Okay. Seems as good a spot as any. Everything sort of funnels down here and continues down, so. Lowest spot. Who knows, this is probably frozen too, but it didn't get a whole lot of snow. But the ground is saturated there, so she's probably frozen. Yeah. Yeah, she's frozen. Lots of shit. I wonder. We don't have permafrost here. So I wonder if we could go below it. Some clay. It still seems to be frozen underneath. Yeah. Just clay. Hence why the water's sitting there. Oh wait, on to the next spot. We'll try this back again in summertime. Okay, let's try this spot. Should be good. Sorry tree, but you need to get pruned.
Okay. Now I can move around. Let's start digging. This tree actually picked up a lot of material. So let's see what's in it. Let's dig down a little bit. Lots of sand, there's not a lot of golden sand. We'll uh, cut to the clip of me having a hole here. Okay, so, interesting. Down in here is a layer of cracked bedrock and uh, river gravel. And then there's a piece of bedrock or whatever that's been smoothed over by water and then more stuff behind it. So I'm gonna take a pan from here, a bucket from here. If I have time, I'll take a bucket from the back of it and see if the water was acting as a sluice over top of it. Now I don't know if the water was coming this way or coming down or what. This is obviously a long time ago because this tree was on top of it, so. We'll see, we'll see what's inside the bucket. We'll go pan it out. Time will tell. Okay. So that spot didn't, uh, it had some gold, but just not a lot. So, we got time for one more bucket. We're gonna pick it from right over there, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. We're gonna dig a little bit of dirt right, right where my current hole is. And we'll see if uh, which way to go. So next time I'm out here, I know which way to dig. So I'll go get some couple uh, test pans going and uh, go from there. We're gonna try this spot right here. No, the sun has had a chance to thaw it out. Before I get too carried away though, I am going to put a muck sheet down here next time I'm out. So we're just going to hammer out a hole. There we go.
flakes in there still. Right off the top and there's some good sized flakes. Stuff that my sluice will actually capture. Sweet. Here we go. So I know that I'm still on good ground. Be at $5 a yard or so. Once I get a muck sheet in there, I should be able to move more than just one yard an hour. Who knows, maybe I can get three yards an hour if I push it. Maybe $15 an hour. Still not that much, but it's a hobby. It's a fun hobby that I enjoy doing, so. I don't know if I'll come out tomorrow or not. So this might be uh, just a prospecting video for this week, or these couple weeks here, next time I get out. Or I might be able to get out again tomorrow. We'll see. So far, I hope you've enjoyed what you've uh, seen. Sorry I haven't been showing much of the pans, it's just that there's not much to show in the pans. My best course of action is to continue my hole, rather than start a new one. So, I'm going to empty out this panning tub, pack up, and head her home. Thanks for watching.